Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson, we will be dividing fractions by fractions. Basically, that's it. We're going to do fraction division and a lot of practice. I'm going to hopefully give you some tips and tricks to help along the way, and then you definitely need to do the worksheet practice problems with this one just to get lots of practice and solidify the steps. Let's get started. When you are dividing fractions, this is what it looks like. You will do something called multiplying by the reciprocal. That's quite a bit of large words that basically means keep change flip. Let me show you. Your first fraction stays the same. 21 over 2 stays as 21 over 2. That's the keep. Then you change the symbol from division to multiplication and you flip the second fraction. Notice it went from 1 -third to 3 over 1, right? So we kept the first fraction, we changed the symbol, we flipped over the second fraction. The math way of saying that is we multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is just a fancy way of saying flipping the fraction upside down, okay? So that let's go ahead and actually multiply. When you multiply fractions, you're going across. I, I like to say multiplying is the most straightforward thing you can do with fractions because you literally go straight forward. 21 times 3 is 63. 2 times 1 is 2. That's it. Also, when working with fractions, you will always simplify. Always simplify. So you're going to be using the skills from the previous lesson. You always simplify. In this case, it is simplified, so you don't need to go any further. We are going to leave the fractions as they are at this point. We are not, um, you, if you're familiar with the term improper fraction, that's when the number on the top of the fraction is larger than the number on the bottom of the fraction, like this one, 63 over 2. We're going to leave it as an improper fraction. That's absolutely fine. In, in many cases, we leave them like that and this will be one of them. All right, now it's time to solve and simplify. In other words, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal or keep change flip. Try that first step, 15 divided or five divided by 12, five over 12 divided by one half. Thank you, Mr. Buffington. Go ahead and set that up as a multiplying by the reciprocal question. Is that what your first step look like? Kept, you keep the first fraction, 5 over 12, change the symbol to multiplication, and then your second fraction gets flipped over, or in other words, becomes the reciprocal. Now we're going to multiply. Try that step. 5 times 2 is 10. 12 times 1 is 12. That should be your fraction. Then we're going to simplify if needed. I'll list all the steps over here. If you need more practice with simplifying, go back to the previous lesson. But those are the steps. You list the factors, identify your greatest common factor, and divide by your greatest common factor. There we go. In this case, our greatest common factor is 2. So we'll divide by 2 for our final answer of 5 over 6. All right, that's the steps. Now it's time to practice. And basically, the rest of this lesson is practicing. Lots of practicing with simplifying, actually. Um, and the division is, is not nearly as challenging. Go ahead and try this one out. Go ahead, multiply by the reciprocal. Go. Welcome back. I'm going to go through the answer pretty quickly because I'm assuming that you did it. You changed the fraction to this. 6 over 7 times 2 over 3. We changed the division to multiplication and flip the fraction upside down. That's the reciprocal of that fraction. All right, when we multiply 6 times 2 is 12, 7 times 3 is 21, and then we're going to simplify. There's all the steps there. I know it's a lot kind of coming at one time. But basically, we list the factors, identify that 3 is our greatest common factor. So we will divide the fraction, both top and bottom, by 3 for our final simplified answer of 4 over 7. Here's our next practice problem. I want you to try it out. All right, step number one, keep change flip. Step number two, multiply. Five times three is 15, nine times two is 18. 
Step number four, simplify if needed. Following those steps, we list the factors of both numbers, identify our greatest common factor, which is three, and we'll divide both 15 and 18. We'll divide those by three for our final answer of five over six. Not bad. All right, a little bit more practice. Try it out, pause and practice. We keep change flip. That's gonna be our first multiplication question there or the way we multiply it. We flip the second fraction. We change the division symbol to multiplication. Eight times four is 32. 15 times three is 45. And then we're going to simplify by listing out our factors, identifying our greatest common factor, which is none. There actually is no greatest common factor other than one. So that means 32 out of 45 is our final answer in lowest terms. Nice. All right. Now we're going to look at questions that deal with big numbers, and I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks that I want you to try. This is something you're going to practice a lot using the worksheet. The worksheet has several questions that are larger numbers like this. Okay, let's get into it. You are going to solve it the same way you solved everything else by multiplying by the reciprocal. So 26 over 12 times 45 over 25. Everything stayed the same as the previous questions, right? We the multiple division changed to multiplication. The second fraction got flipped over. Having big numbers does not change that step. It also doesn't change the multiply step. We still multiply 26 times 45 and 12 times 25. It's just that now we've got some really big numbers. So in that simplify step, I am not going to list all of the factors of 300. I'm not going to list all of the factors of 1170. Instead, I am going to look for obvious factors to simplify. In this case, both numbers end with 10 or with a zero. I'm sorry. Both numbers end with a zero. So that means they're divisible by 10. So I'm going to divide by 10 for both of them. There we go. Now my numbers are a little smaller and they're easier to deal with. I'm going to teach you another trick here that will help with, with solving this. I'm going to list the factors of the smaller number, the number I know I can get all the factors. Okay, so there's my fraction, 117 divided by 30. I'm going to list the factors of 30, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Then I'm just going to look at that number, 117. I know that 2 is not a factor of 117 because it's not even. 2 is fact a factor of even numbers. 3 is a factor of 117 because 1 plus 1 plus 7, 117, when you add up those numbers, 1 plus 1 plus 7, you get 9. And 9 is a multiple of 3. So that means 3 is a factor of both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both by 3. Notice I'm not looking for the greatest common factor at this point. I'm just looking for any common factor so I can get these numbers down to being a little bit more friendly. And there we go. This one simplified down to 39 over 10. Now, I know the factors of 10. 1, 2, 5, and 10. 5 and 10 are not factors of 39. Because 39 ends in a 9. It's not an even number. It's not a factor of 5. And it's not a fa it doesn't have a factor of 5 or 10. So that means this has no common factors between them and we are in simplest form, okay? Notice I did not list all the factors of 39 and all the factors of 10 for this. I just listed the factors in my head of the smaller number and tried to see if those factors were also factors of 39. All right, let's try that again. This takes practice, by the way, which is why the worksheet's so important. 
let's go ahead and look at another one with big numbers. First off, we have to remember that today we are multiplying by the reciprocal. You can't just go into the multiplication without flipping over that second fraction, so let's go ahead and do that. Our second fraction is flipped over. We're going to multiply, and that gives us two really big numbers. Okay. I don't know all the multiples, or all of the factors, I'm sorry, of 210 or 252. But I do know that they are both even, and if I add up the numbers, 2 plus 1 is 3, so 210 is divisible by 3. And 2 plus 5 plus 2 gives me 9, which is divisible by 3. So both of them are even numbers that are divisible by 3. So that means they're both divisible by 2 and 3, which means I can divide them by 6. If you're looking for more tips and tricks on finding factors, I actually have a separate um video just for finding factors and it'll show you several of the tricks but that's one of them if it's divisible by two and three then it's also divisible by six so let's do it when we divide by six we get some very reasonable numbers a 35 and a 42 which means at this point i can list my factors find my greatest common factor and simplify all right just like i did in the beginning Working with larger numbers, it's all about finding a common factor, simplifying, and then repeating. It's just repetition of those same steps. So don't get overwhelmed if the numbers are big. On the worksheet, there's going to be some big numbers. But I also go over all of those questions in the video solution for the worksheet. So you can see my tips and tricks and how I did it with every single question. If you're ever struggling, go to that video and take a look. All right. A couple things to remember. When you are dividing fractions, you are multiplying by the reciprocal. That means you keep the first fraction, change the symbol, and flip the second fraction. Then you multiply like normal and simplify. I hope this lesson has been helpful for you. Definitely practice the things you've seen. Good luck on the quiz. Have a wonderful day.